What's up guys, CJ here from Athens Elder Training Systems located in West Berlin, New Jersey. Coming at you guys another Baseball Strength Thursday. Pretty fired up to bring you guys uh, another series here on stuff we can do right at the field. And I have here a set of J-Bands. If you guys aren't familiar, these are Alan Jaeger's kind of arm care bands. What I think gets missed a lot of times is that these can be great for more than just arm care, more than just external rotations, Ys, Ts, Ws, the whole thing. Uh, these are actually really great on-field core positioning tools and on-field core training tools. So I'm going to go over with you guys, you know, two of our favorite core exercises that we use right on the field with our guys, and we build them in uh, to warm-ups that we might run at events or whatever the case may be, number one. And number two, we build them in to our pre-workout, pre-throw cards that we give our guys here to make sure they're in the optimal position to throw and make sure the things that we need to get activated, that anterior core is just that, and that transverse system. So really, let's go into some of these without getting too sciencey on you. And I want you guys to go ahead and use these right away because everybody has a set of J-bands at home. So check these out. First one, guys, we call this a core engaged dead bug. So basically, you know, I'm using the rack here as my fence, but imagine you're gonna carry me right to the fence. Once you're here, I'm gonna kind of go from an angle so you can see what I'm doing. I want you to actively pull the band over your chest, right? Now we're engaging the core. I want you to press your load back down into the ground and then exhale as you drop the leg. Inhale on the way back up, and exhale on the way back down. Again, that's called a core engaged dead bug. It's gonna allow you to get into neutral, activate that anterior core, really get fired up and in a good position to throw and move from. That's number one. Number two is our wide stance chop. Now, you guys have seen these before, I'm sure, with cable columns, with bands, whatever the case may be. But I really like these because, you know, in a way they're specific to the needs of the ball player before he throws, right? We're activating, you know, the core rotationally, which is really an awesome kind of feedback drill. And number one and number two really gets us ready to go in a specific plane. So check this out. We'll start straight arms. We're going to pull, and then we're going to actively here resist that rotation back before we pull again. Make sure with this, we're not into this big extension-based posture. We're not rounded forward. We're not letting the shoulders do the work for us. We're trying to work here at our base of support to resist rotation back. So there you have it, guys. Two uses maybe you didn't think about with your J-band before, and then you can plug right into your pre-game, pre-throw warm-up. Check them out. Try them out. Let me know what you think. If you want us to come out and do them for your team, just let us know. Drop us a line. We'd be happy to come out and demo some of these things and some of our arm care stuff for you and your team. Talk to you soon. Peace.